buffer bother. The China Quay Works was being closed for a rebuild. And Sir Tobin Pat told Bill and Ben that they're going to be working at Far Quarter Quarry for a while. Bill and Ben felt disappointed that they weren't going to be working at the China Quay Works anytime soon. But they were pleased to have some more work to do somewhere else. When the twins arrived at the quarry, they enjoyed themselves. They also didn't even dare play any tricks on Mavis. Because they knew it was wise not to test the quarry diesel's patience. One day, Sir Topham Hat came to inspect them. He could see that Mavis and Bill were in good working order, except for Ben. Your buffers are bented, said Sir Topham Hat. You're gonna have to go to the works to get them repaired. Sir Topham Hat then turned to Mavis. I would like you to work with Bill and look after him while Ben is away. Yes, sir, said Mavis. As soon as Sir Topham Hat left, Ben felt very excited. I'm getting new buffers, he said gleefully. I want new buffers too, said Bill disappointingly. We're twins, we do everything together. But you don't need new buffers, said Ben teasingly. You're only getting them because you're clumsy, said Bill. Am not, R2, am not, R2. Will you two knock it off? said Mavis. Now come on, Bill, we have work to do. And the two engines set it off. As soon as Mavis and Bill got to work, Bill watched enviously as Ben left to get his new buffers. As soon as Bill got to work, he couldn't help but think about new buffers he wanted to get. And he pushed his car towards the shed. Some dust that was on top of the roof of the shed had fell on his funnel. And, and Bill gave a great sneeze. Achoo! He spluttered. Mavis arrived and heard everything. Be careful, Bill, said Mavis crossly, and think about something else other than Ben's new buffers. Bill tried to think about other things. But it didn't work. I want new buffers too, Bill said, still feeling envious. Be glad that you're in good working order, Mavis said. I can't, Bill huffed, as he wished him everywhere. And by mistake, he blew soot all over Mavis. Grease and oil, she cried. Whoopsies, sorry, Bill said. Bill tried to get to work, but the freight car is star her chance for a tease. Poor, poor Bill. He works, he suffers, while Bennis Twin gets brand new buffers. Ha 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 ha. 
I may not have brand new buffers, Bill said, but I do know how to biff freight cars. And he, and he banged into a freight car hard right behind him. Watch out for the buffers, Bill, Mavis cried. But it was too late. Nobody was hurt, but Bill's buffers were badly bented. At last, Ben arrived. With his brand new buffers, and was just in time to hear. Lost my buffers, Bill said. I think you have, said Ben. As soon as Bill was put back onto the rails, Sir Topham Heck spoke severely to him. You have behaved irresponsibly, Bill. Once you get your new buffers fixed, I want you to take of what it means to be a responsible, reliable engine. Yes, sir, Bill said meekly. As Bill went back to the shed, he talked to Ben. Sorry I was so jealous of you getting new buffers, Bill said. That's alright, Ben. I was naughty too. So was I, Bill said. Bill knew he had a lot to think about. While Ben had a lot to think about, Sir Topham Hatch drove back to his office. He had some other issues to attend with.